Today is January 10th, 2024, 10 days into the new year. Uh, fucking a week into Bama losing in the college football playoff the first round of Michigan. And we're recording this right now, and it's probably been an hour, hour and a half since uh, head coach Nick Saban uh, retired. This is literally the aftermath of Nick Saban retiring. Um, Us as Bama fans... It, has, it hasn't been a good start to 2024 already. In a year where we thought we were going to be able to pull it out with how the football season started. And for us to make it as far as we did was amazing, given the fact that we had a heartbreaking loss of overtime. And now, nine days after that, the greatest college football coach, the greatest football coach of all time, Nick Saban, plans to retire. Um, We can say so much about Nick Saban. Nick Saban is the only coach that that we've known as far as out of football is concerned. He's the only coach that we've known. Like, what niggas was real heavy was niggas was really like you yeah, heavy into my morale around when Nick Saban came you know what I'm saying to the school and for us to see him do what he did with these teams with Nick Saban being the only coach that we've known we can say a lot all we've seen is greatness um, six national championships Alabama Nine-time SEC champion, five-time SEC coach of the year, um, over two hundred wins and not even thirty losses. Like, like we live like this is this sick. Yeah, it's sick. I ain't expect no. I'm pretty sure nobody. People say, "Oh, you expected this to happen," but I'm not gonna lie. I did not expect it to happen. I expected it to happen probably like after next year. Us, us after like the contract. Yeah, after the contract, yeah, over with. I would, if you, if I really, I really expected it after the contract. I, I, I would have thought he would have tried to, you know, because he one is, last push. But I guess this was the last push. Because he is old, but. I ain't, I ain't yeah, he's him. seventy. I saw him at least getting to twenty twenty six. Like I don't. This is terrible. It's 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 so puzzling because we'll never, and, we'll and, never, and, we'll, we'll never see anything like what Nick Saban done for Alabama like ever again, bro. N- niggas will try. Niggas are trying. Like, there's literally nobody. They've discussed who will probably like take over, but it don't matter who. It, it don't matter who it is, bro. It'll never. It'll never live. It, it'll never live up to to what Nick Saban did. Only, this man, only nigga that even has the uh, audacity to even think about filling his shoes is Bill Belichick. That's the only nigga in football. Like, period. Who can be like, yo, I can step in. Or I know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, there's nobody else. That, there's nobody. I don't care. Nobody. We can have guys we won't like. There's nobody. That's the only reason I say be because, like, he did on the highest level multiple times. I mean, I don't. 
They threw, they threw names out there, bro. But it, it and, really, I, and I ain't liking the names. I ain't going to count. I mean, I mean, I'm mean, i never, I, I don't care who it is, bro. I'm not going to like any name that's, gonna, that's associated with goddamn head coach Alabama. That's not Nick Saban, bro. We've only seen Nick Saban, bro. We only know Nick Saban, bro. Like, actually knowing football and actually understanding, yeah, we only know Saban. We only know Saban. Like, that, that man there. I, 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 like, the dominoes are already falling. Like, we already got, you know, decommitment from, you know, top prospects, Ryan Williams. Oh, my God. He's like, it's already confirmed. He's like, he was only verbally committed anyway. He's been verbally committed forever. But I can't even say I don't blame him for decommitting. I want to. I wish I, like call, I wish I could call him something. I wish he'd be mad. But I can't. I, mean, I can't either way. But I can't be mad, bro. This is literally the. the the best season Nick Saban has ever coached in his career. He, with with, with, with what we had, with, 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 yeah, with how with how it looked after week two, to week three, and how it looked, it was like, oh, bro, if he's he's not gonna be able to pull this one out, bro. This not happening. Bro. For him to still go out on top of the SEC, if he can go out, he can't go out on top of the, of the national level. It would, I, I would, if I, oh my god. It would feel it. It would feel that we'd still be how we are right now if we would have won that championship. He retired, but it hurts more because we know the stuff Nick's done in the past, and him going out for the bang. without that last national championship to pass Bear Bryant. As far as Alabama football is concerned, I think he really don't want to deal with that twelve team shit too. Y'all can't feel this in the room right now, but it's it's real muggy. It's real it's real stiff in here. Like the atmosphere is just off. This is this is probably this is one this is probably the worst feeling I felt as far as Alabama in a while. We done lost games. We done lost games. We ain't got our asses whooped. Maybe we done we done got our we done got beat to sleep, bro. In that in a national championship. National setting. We got our asses. For beat. everybody to see. And I laugh. And <laughs> and now the greatest college the greatest football. I'm not gonna keep doing that. Yeah, the I'm greatest the greatest football coach of all time, Nick Saban, decides to retire. He leaving a legacy, don't get me wrong. But we won't be able to. There will there will never be anybody who could come in and do what he did or even half of what he did. Like think of the names that they throwing out. Think of think of Dan, Dan Landing was the fucking Oregon's head coach. Why would I want him? Why? Why would y'all even consider him? Y'all just want somebody. They just they just want somebody. Dan fucking Lanning, bro. They just we just want to name folks. Dan fucking Lanning, yo. Why get, would I want that? Let me get this shot, Dre. Tommy Reese, I swear to God, I'll fucking find you if you think you're gonna be in a fucking head coach. There is no now. way let I'm allowing that you shit. right now. I'll I'll burn your house down, boy. Nobody in Alabama a, Nation, but I'll put is a going to allow that in your fucking yard, bro. They gonna think the clan back, boy. I promise you, don't even think, don't even think you'll be the motherfucker to step in. Don't even think about it. I swear to over my over, hey, over <laughs> my dead body. I, me and Mama have some real conversation about that fan shit. It's boy. been a, it is telling you that now, boy. Boy, Dan fucking Lanny. Like this, this ain't even this ain't even no joking matter. Who authorized Dan that Lanny? shit, bro? Who in the fuck authorized? Tom, you telling me? Cause our DC just stepped down. Mm. He just retired. Nah, I see. So you tell me the only other coach on the staff at that high at the as, at a high position that could take over possibly is fucking Tommy Reese. Be for real with yourself. Before you be, be for, for real, real with your mama. Before you be for real with me, facts. This ain't even no laughing matter. This is like World War Z. Nah, for real. This is. I remember when America used to be real. 
I remember when America used to be a place. Now it's like, this like, shit. like Armageddon Land or or, or Fortnite or, or Lego Land or some shit. This shit ain't real. Like, 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 what is this? Like, what is this? What is going on? I feel like my dog died. We're ten years into the new year. We're ten days. My bad. We're ten days into the new year. I gotta tell my kids about this shit. We literally, ju we just suffered heartbreak. How many times can your heart get broke in a month? Don't see. It's only been two weeks. It's only been two weeks. With the season that we had this year, bro, at the start, at the start, it looked. That really looked like World War Z. I thought I was seeing the end right there in front of my eyes. Yeah. And I'm talking about, I thought I was seeing the end. Yeah. With how they performed earlier, despite Middle Tennessee State. I'm talking about Texas no, no, no. and USF. USF was really the turning point for me. I ain't going to lie to you. USF, bro. I don't care what the weather was. No. That's goal not supposed to be 17-3 to three at the end of the game. I don't care if Jalen Merrill didn't play a snap, bro. I don't care. You mean something we ain't that's had. the that's the Nick Saban effect. We ain't had not one backup quarterback in full fucking football. At least, hey, at least Miro coming back though. Hey, who's gonna be his coach, bro? I don't even know who's gonna throw the ball to now. Bond, that's it. I, mean, I, I don't. I, oh my god! I want to be mad at Ryan so bad, bro. But I'm like, dang. You got to think about it. These folks, these players that commit, they commit for Nick Saban, bro. Because they know Nick Saban, Nick Saban gets you where you want to be, bro. Well, you got to put in the work. But for the most part, bro, Nick Saban gets you where you want to be, bro. He gets you to the NFL, bro. If you got the talent, if you got the heart, the work, hard work, the dedication. I just, just pray to God he'll change his mind during signing day. But right now, I already seen this comment section. Cam Coleman, Auburn commit, nigga already in the comment section. Going crazy. Cause it's Ryan Daddy went to Auburn, didn't yep. he? Yep. Daddy went to Man, Auburn. Man, just just like that, we became worse than Auburn. If they get Ryan Williams, we most definitely worse than Auburn. I'm not even going to lie to you. Cause they they wide receiver recruiting to like they they wide receivers they got they got four demons already. Perry Thompson and Cam Coleman, the top top two out of the out of the four they already got. But if they add Ryan Williams. That shit might be better than Devontae Smith wobbling them. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I'm not going to go that far. I'm telling you, off of just, I'm just telling you telling off potential-wise, because don't say the two I just named, Perry Thompson and Cam Coleman, one of them niggas built like Julio Jones, and the other one built like A.J. Brown. And them niggas won. Not going to lie to you. Ryan is a Swiss Army knife. They can do whatever. And I ain't even named the other two four star wide receivers they got that's already committed to Auburn. The other two I named was fives. This ain't this ain't even this ain't even this ain't even funny. Like I don't even know what to do. I don't even know how to think. I don't even know where where to go from here. A day is literally in average three months away. You telling me Nick Saban not gonna be in that suit on that field on eight eight? I'm twenty five. Bark it, bro. No mic, no mic, no nothing. You still him. You telling me Nick Saban? You telling me? You telling me even even if we score a touchdown, Nick Saban they gonna be walking on that sideline with his head down, bro? Looking disappointed, bro. You tell me I ain't gonna see Miss Terry at the press conference no more. Cheering them on. You telling me you you telling me that black dude gonna be holding somebody else cup? Walking beside him, up and down the sideline. You got to go. You don't Everybody gotta go. We gotta start over. I mean, everything makes sense. Time Lane Kiffin, obviously niggas who knew knew Lane Kiffin said, say, "Hey." Never know this might be my, this might be my last. This, I don't know he said he said this is my last time coaching against Nick Saban. I thought that meant he was gonna slide over to Belmont. I just knew that's what that meant. I ain't. I, I just knew that's what that meant. No, 
Oh, you mean you coming back home? Come on, I miss you. And and Bam, and we so desperate right now at this moment that I know they looking, they look, they finna offer that bag to anybody. And I swear to God, if Dan Lanning or fucking John Harbaugh end up being our head coach. I, sw I swear, I swear to God, it's hell to pay. I'm gonna earn some, somebody. I'm, I'm gonna earn some. And Hub, I don't know if you know KB was here. It was before you pulled up. It was Paul Fine Mom show. On my, on my mama. A Aura fan better not say shit to me. Why they rolling toilet papers and shit? I already said, I already shared a post saying that when we kill the motherfucking tree, it ain't gonna be so motherfucking funny, right? That shit ain't gonna be fucking funny no more. They, they legit, they legit here, throw the fucking ground, you sorry pieces of shit. Fuck you and your fucking mama. I swear mama. to God, I put. Man, I swear to God, y'all the most worthless fucking organization in sports. Man, bro, they didn't really. They didn't really. Y'all some baby. fucking bums. They never won shit they, ever. They really and y'all decide to baby. fucking roll the tissue. Really? Not one. They didn't roll that bitch, bro. Man, y'all wish I had fucking Nick Saban. Y'all wish I had half of Nick Saban. I swear. Y'all so fucking worthless. Y'all so fucking spineless. Every fucking Auburn fan, every Auburn player, everybody who went to Auburn, y'all so fucking spineless. I'll piss on that tree. Shout out to my nigga Harvey Updike. Shout out to him. Long little goat. Yeah, RIP a legend. Fuck you talking about. Shout out to the goat. Like, ooh, y'all, that, that's, ooh, my goodness. I, I, nev I never thought it'd be a day where I was. Well, where I was like, man, you know what? I hate Auburn more than fucking Tennessee. Y'all at the top of my hit list. Y'all at the top of my hit list. Fuck an Auburn fan, I swear to God. Fuck Auburn, I hate Auburn. Yeah, good opening. I had to come down here, man. Y'all ain't arguing right now. Oh, man, we ain't arguing. Oh, okay. I had to come out like, man... It's a rough one. They rolled the they rolled too much. They rolled the tree for that. They yeah, the man, you really see that pop fireworks last week? They rolled the damn tree. Oh, tree bad. I ain't I ain't felt like this a minute. Not not this is this yeah. ain't this ain't this ain't right. Uh, Ryan Williams already decommitted. Yeah, the stuff like that happens, man. We were just talking before you walked in. Like, now we're going to see who really want to come here and play for us. I said, ho hopefully he pull an okie doke. You know, because it, it, it was always verbal. It was always verbal. Man, he got, that's a nice-ass nice property down there in Miami. Ain't nobody he just nobody. bought that vacation home in Miami. It's too, super fly. Yeah. Like, it was a right, right, 72, man. Like, it's he could have made me one more. Yeah, yeah. His contract was yeah. 22. Bro, he he could have gave me one more. Yeah. He could have gave me one more. I know this year was stressful for him. I know it was, but he could have gave me one more. I, this is the best coaching job. Remember, I just walked through the last time. This just like this, how y'all is. And we're talking about we're going to lose five games. We SEC champions now. He going out, beat Georgia. Yeah, ain't much else. We would have had a long season, man. I wouldn't be able to look at the games with y'all, man. Because if we lost four or five games, ain't no having no time up there like that. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate it, man. Like, oh, change, yeah. it's change is coming, man. But y'all will never see this again. I don't know. And then, like I said, they always want to get some Dan Lanning, Oregon head coach. That's what that's what the game going though. I we got to get somebody who can recruit in this NIL bro, traffic. Bro, Dan Lanning. Bro, Dan. Dan Lanning, bro. They ain't finna get him, man. He just signed a contract. He got Alabama ain't finna buy his contract. Not man, for him. Man, they, he ain't they, that type they, of dude. They'll buy a Kirby Smart they contract. Finna they ain't finna buy his out. They finna offer a bag, bro. For him? They they, 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 finna, they just finna they offer gonna, a bag. They gonna, pay, they, they gonna pay Nick Saban the rest of his contract. We desperate. They finna offer the, They finna offer as much money as they can. I, I know how this is. This Nick Saban, it ain't like just a regular coach. I thought when you retire, you forfeit the rest of the years. I mean, they got to honor that. And then you know what they should do? 
They should give him a motherfucking parade like we won national championship. They should give him another statue in the middle of the center yeah. campus. They should rename it. And it's not no more Brian Denny Stadium. It should be Nick Saban Stadium. Man, what that man uh, did, man. I don't know. I, as of right now, I don't care who. I only want to think about the next coach. No, nah, I don't either. So, I don't want to think about it. The hard shoot is we got to because Tommy Reese the only man in the next coach. He's the only. He's the only. He's not going to do that already. No, that's not going to happen. Pop, I lose my mind. We're going to be all right, man. It's Bravo, man. It's gonna be like somebody gonna man, come. Man. I, I understand that you was here before Nick Saban. Yeah. Well before. Way before. My first yeah. national championship means we're all just talking at 11. 11 years old. That's how I was hooked in. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm I'm Alabama. I see how black folks, how we how we rally. We ain't seen nobody but Nick Saban. I don't understand. Like, truly that, seen nobody. Like, we ain't me, seen me nobody. and you, me and my son, all we had was video game for Nick Saban had us on the couch every Saturday. Just us. Girls, everybody was out the house. Just me and my son. For years, win or loss, we was on that couch. Was we not? Every Saturday. So I can't, I got to respect My man. dad was just like you. Like, my dad is from, he's from Birmingham. Like, he's, the, he's the only reason why I'm out of my fan. Right. Die hard, die hard, die hard. So, so they trying to be really be sad, for real, we sad. But they, we Bama, man. It's going to happen, man. We're going to be all right. I said that the last time. Y'all didn't believe me. Five loss. We're going to be all right, man. Trust me. It's hard. To, it's hard to think about it right now. You but, said that last time, and you ended up being right. I'm but telling you, man. We had Nick Saban. We wouldn't. We we had Nick Saban. He had one on ESPN. Yeah, well, he got his own headline at the bottom. I know. I woke up, man. It was on the. It's, they I stopped, came up. They stopped I, the weather on regular news. Bro, I went to what? They they cut the weather. Breaking news. I went to McDonald's. He called me. I was getting ready to leave the house, and he told me. I said, "Bro, you're lying." And then I looked on my phone, and then I saw it. Then I went upstairs, and it was on the news. But you were asleep. I know. You know I'm saying like, it was on the news. You were asleep. I was like, I was like, oh, I'm not even. Finna. I was like, oh, I was like. Mm -hmm. I heard you when you came on stairs. That woke me up, and I was like, what? I was like, I, I said, oh, I'm dreaming. I went back to sleep. Woke back up. That's all that's still on the news. This is terrible. It's rough. It's rough. I don't know how. I just. Really? You said not think about no coach, but I don't know how I'm not. I got to I got to think about who who could possibly be the coach. Because 8 days in April. 8 days 3 3 months away. So they going to find somebody before 8 days. Let me yeah. But they I'm telling you they going to offer a bag that's that's it, it it's, it's going to be a bag. I just don't know who could possibly they can't. They can't leave this in no hands of like nobody. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at. I see y'all. I mean, I can say that's it's damn near y'all whole life, like basically. But I'm looking at it too. When Nick Saban got hired, do you know how old I was? I'm forty. I'm to be forty five. You know how old I was? When Nick Saban got hired. I was twenty six years old, turning twenty seven. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> we spoiled like a motherfucker, man. Like I'm like man. Like I was twenty seven. Gonna be twenty seven years old. I'm gonna be forty five. Man, he don't owe us nothing, man. But nah, he don't. Nah, it's, a not, sad, it's a sad nah, day, man. Nah, he's mad at Nick. He don't owe us nothing. Nah, he don't owe nobody nothing. He don't owe nobody. And then you got to think about his wife, too, man. She let us have his, her husband for 17 years, man. All, man she we were cussing his ass out cheering. on bad shit. She was right there cheering the whole time. Man, we going to be straight, man. Like, for some odd reason, man, God be blessing Alabama, man. Some odd reason, man. Y'all look at it. Two of the greatest head coaches of all time. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we ain't live to see that one. that dude, but it don't happen three times. Yeah, it don't happen three times, bro. You strike, you strike gold. It don't happen three times. I mean, look how long it took us to strike gold. Bro, bro. that's what that's my point. We, I'm telling you, it's a whole we, new we, era, though. Right, now we got to get a coach who can navigate through this NIL stuff. Oh my God, damn! Let's go. Oh my God. They hired him. Oh they hired him. Oh my God. It ain't, it ain't an official oh hire. They hired him? It's not an official hire. Oh, my God, no. it's, not, it's not an official hire, but oh. it's a surface. It's a tweet that resurfaced. He said, in 2015, he said, never miss an opportunity to create your identity built by Bama. Hashtag Roll Tide. I like his moxie, though. Y'all seen what he did to Dion? This is right. He said, when, <laughs> you seen what he went in there with how he did that? Like, I mean, hey, I don't know about that one, though, dog. I don't know about that one. I, I gotta close the door now. I gotta yep. think. I gotta process mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Yes. All right, y'all. All right. I don't know about that. That's taking over. I wish I could give y'all some real, like, you know, something.
positive, bro. Something that's just like I can leave y'all nothing positive. Oh God, I'm not. I'm not a positive person right now. This ain't. This ain't the time, bro. Well, I'm. Tr I'm trying. Uh, it ain't truly hit me even still. Yeah, it still ain't hit me yet. It ain't hit me yet. But I know when it do, I'm be man. I miss you, nigga. It ain't been a fucking day. It ain't you. even. It ain't even been twenty four. It ain't even been four. I miss you, man. It's, it's barely been three two. And this what we this 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 we failed this fast. It's been ten days since the new year. It's been ten days, bro. Uh, it's been ten days. Our uh, odds went from six hundred plus to eight hundred plus for national championship as soon as Nick said retired. Dropped. We dropped 200. And you said that shit not official, but the Nick Saber shit ain't ain't even official. Like it's 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 still reports. Like Alabama ain't even came out and said nothing. But still, you just gotta assume you gotta let assume me, that. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me make sure that one said nothing. Uh pro probably not, bro. It wasn't that long ago I checked the football page. Nah. Oh my god. Thank you, Coach. 56 seconds ago. <laughs> 56 seconds ago. I literally, I literally. Oh, my God. This is not real, bro. This ain't real, bro. 56 seconds ago. What the fuck is going on, bro? It's been 10 days, bro. It's been 10 fucking days, bro. I literally, bro, I literally just, what the fuck? As soon as I did, as soon as I looked at it, bro. As soon as I looked at it, bro. Man, final words, bro. Hug. Man, I got to leave y'all with something good, bro. Like, God bless Nick Saban. Wish there. <laughs> we gonna keep on lanking, man. <laughs> Roll time, Roll time, man. Roll time, man. Roll time. And if you want to leave, the door is right there. Oh, Jesus Christ. If you want to leave, the door right there. I don't want to hear nothing. If you want to leave, go. Oh, oh, God, if you want to leave, if you want to leave, if you don't want to be here no more, if you ain't tired, you can go. The door is open. Don't let the door knob hit you with the good Lord split you. Get the fuck on. I ain't going to beg and plead. But, but you set me free. Get the fuck on. I mean that. I mean that. I don't want to hear shit. You can leave. I mean, that's that's what I'm going to leave. That's what I'm going to leave you with for real, for real. That's exactly what I'm going to leave you with. Hit the fucking door. That's all I got to say. Roll fucking tide, man. Okay. Uh, um. <coughs> I'm going to try to say this without getting emotional. I've been crying since I heard the news. Um. A lot of y'all don't know much about us, like personal wise, but I'm 22 years old. Been a football fan my whole life, played football, all that. I became a true in depth Bama fan probably in like 2010. But I've been watching Bama football since 2008. When Nick Saban got there, he came to a project. We were trash. We had one. First year we went six and six. We lost to UL Monroe at home. Next year we went ten and two. Mm. Lost the SC championship. Mm. Year three, we went fourteen and one national championship. Mm -hmm. 
Pies with Trophy win and all right. that. The next year, we came back and lose three games. And everybody immediately wrote them off. They wrote off, we done. That's gotta and we go win back to back, bro. We went back to back. Won two national championships and so forth. Just a fake ass. And up organizing. producing. <laughs> we ended up producing what well, now is going to be possibly 52 first round draft picks because we have potentially three guys this year that'll be first round draft picks. Only 29 A's. He stopped in his last year with the probably the worst team coordinators. Mm -hmm. This team, except if it's the closest team he's ever had, they started the NIL brand. We went from writing them off, questioning what the word this is, to winning the SEC, beat Georgia, back-to-back -back national champs. Like, all my life, I've known greatness when it comes to Nick Saban. 17 years of pure greatness at the University of Alabama. No coach in life will be ever to, that I will see will be able to even duplicate or come close to do what Nick Saban has done for the University of Alabama, for college football. So it's like, it hurts. Hold on, little Delante, that's really cut you off. But as a, as a FBS head coach, I'm saying this right now. The, the man has won 292 games, only lost 71, tied one in 28 seasons, and won seven national championships. There will never be another coach like him in history. Bama history, college history, nothing. That is amazing. That nigga's so legend. That is that is amazing. I wish he would come back just to get three hundred. You're saying it's the greatest football coach. It's crazy. Nick Saban. My phone I'm getting phone calls. Nick Saban is the greatest football coach ever. Like I said, no one will ever be able to even come close to doing what he has done. Um, yeah, this stings. This will be a day I will ever remember in history. But enjoy retirement, Nick. So long. Farewell to you, my friend. We'll keep it under you. We give you your flowers. We give you your trophies, your statue. As the greatest football coach that has ever lived. No debate. I ain't gonna debate with him. We love you, Coach Saban. Thanks. We appreciate you for everything you've done. Roll Tide. Roll Tide.